I'm Steve Maher, physical therapist and founder of Sight Solutions, and I'd like to talk to you today about something different than I usually talk to you about. Usually we talk about ergonomics and how to set up your workstation, and today I'd like to talk to you about something else. I'd like to talk to you about how to get in shape for when you're not working and doing something fun. And a lot of people golf, my brother in particular, he plays three or four times a week, and he'll invite me out once a year to play in a midnight golf tournament, which is a lot of fun for him because he laughs at me the whole time because I'm so bad at it. And the reason I'm so bad at it is because I'm a triathlete. I can run and swim and bike, which are all linear, linear activities. I go forward, but I don't turn. And uh, golf is all about rotation. It's all rotational movement. So when I go out to the course, it's very difficult for, for me to play well because I'm not trained to do that. And if you ever watch Tiger Woods play, he'll swing the club and he looks like he's made out of rubber, right? He just twists way back, comes way through, and he's just this really fluid movement. And then if you go out to the course, you see all these old duffers playing, like me, that don't have that movement, and they struggle through, and they try and power the ball rather than finesse it, and they, they, they hook it and slice it and put it everywhere except in the hole. So what I'd like to do is show you some exercises you can do in the office um, that don't take up too much time, that are pretty inconspicuous, but will really help your golf game. So the first thing we need to do is loosen up our hips and get those moving because that's, that's where the swing power comes from is the mo motion of the hips. So the first one is to get the external rotators here. What you're going to do is just lift your, your foot up and put your foot on your knee and let your knee drop out to the side. And what you're going to feel there is a pull in the outside of your hip. And if, if that's too much pull, bring your knee back in just a little bit. If it's not enough, what you can do is actually push down just a little bit. Okay, and that's going to stretch those out. The other thing that you can do from this position is with your legs crossed, actually bring your heel up off the ground like this. And what that does is it's going to bring your knee up and you can grab your knee from underneath and pull up towards the opposite shoulder. So sort of a crossing movement. And again, that's going to stretch out all those really tight muscles in your, in your hip. Okay? And you, what you do with a stretch is you get into the position gently. You hold it for about 15 to 30 seconds. If you want to, you can add a little bit more tension to it. But do it very slowly and very gently. There's receptors in the muscle and in the tendon. If you move too quickly, they'll actually tighten down reflexively, tighten the muscle, and then you're just hurting yourself. So do it gently um, so the muscle actually relaxes and stretches. Okay, And then come out of it nice and slowly. And that will help to loosen up your hip. Next we want to loosen up your low back, right? Because that's got to twist a lot too. Um, you want to be very careful whenever you do any twisting with your low back. You have some discs in there and nerves and it's a very complex structure. So if you're whipping yourself around, it can potentially cause some injury. So what you want to do here is move very gently and very slowly um, to stretch out your low back. And what you can do is just sit up nice and straight in the chair and bring your knees to the left and your shoulders to the right just like this. So you're just going to twist and then you can go the other way and twist. So just back and forth. If that's too much, what you can do is just put your hands on your hips and just turn your body one way, hold that for a few seconds, turn your body the other way and twist for a few seconds. Make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall when you do this because if you're in this slumped posture, you're, you're not going to do anything except irritate your low back. You're actually not going to stretch much at all. So sit up really straight so you get that movement in there. Okay. Then we want to work on our shoulders. So our shoulders are typically really tight because we're in this position all the time. So these muscles in the front are really tight and they tend to pull us forward. And then we go to swing and we can't move. So what you want to do here is grab the edge of your desk and then just turn away gently. And you'll feel a pull all through here. Okay. The other thing that you can do is you can take your arm and reach up over your shoulder like this, the muscle is a big fan-shaped muscle, comes up like this. So if you put your hand on your left knee, bring your, bring your arm up and behind you to the right, you'll get a stretch through uh, the pec muscles or your chest. So you just do this. That's a really good stretch. And then you can do the same thing to the other side. And you want to actually do it both ways. So that way you stretch the whole muscle and you can move through the whole range of motion when you swing. You also want to get the posterior capsule, which is a physical therapy term for the back of your shoulder. And what you're going to do, because, because when you come into your backswing, right, these muscles have to be loose. If they're limited, they won't move, and you move more with your back or more, more of a weight shift. So what you're going to do here, bring your arm up like this, put your hand behind your elbow, 
and just pull your shoulder, your elbow across your body like this. And you're going to feel that in the back of your posterior capsule or the back of your shoulder. And you hold that for about 15 to 30 seconds and relax. Same thing here, just bring it up and across and you'll feel that stretch back there. Okay, and the last thing I was thinking about this, you want to stretch out the muscles of your neck as well because if your neck is really stiff, you're, right, you're supposed to look at the ball. If you can't keep your head down, your eyes concentrated on the ball, you're going to start to move to compensate so that your, your head stays in position, but you're going to do funny things with your body. So to stretch out your neck, what you're going to do is hold on to the underside of your leg or the underside of your chair here. Sit up nice and tall, kind of spin your chair a little bit to the left and look to the right. And what you're going to feel is a stretch all through here and then come back. Same thing, turn your, your body to the right and then turn your neck to the left. Okay, so those are some real gentle exercises that you can do at the office. They didn't take very long, but they're really beneficial because when you go out to swing the club on Saturday, you'll have a lot more motion and a lot more, a lot, a lot, it'll be a lot easier to swing the club further. And when you golf, right, it's not about powering through the stroke, it's about gliding the, the club where you want it to go. So I think these can really help you. You want to do them throughout the day for about 15 to 30 seconds per stretch. If you have any questions, give us a call at 925-377-0199 or send us an email at info at siteergonomics.com. Thank you.